Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Today, I have a special announcement uh, about the change in the Ron Paul channel and the expansion of the channel to Voices of Liberty. This is significant. It's going to expand our programming and our outreach. There'll be more voices, more discussion, more news, and more videos with the goal, of course, of spreading the truth. You know, when we first talked about this, somebody came up to me and said, well, why, why are you talking about voices of liberty? Why don't you talk about a voice for liberty? And because you are a voice for liberty. And I said, yeah, I think so. I, th I think I qualify. I am a voice for liberty. But I tell you what, a voice for liberty is not enough. We need a lot more. We need voices of liberty speaking and coming together because there's a lot of enthusiasm for people who would like to cooperate and participate and get their message out too. And as long as they have a message of liberty in the various aspects of the whole freedom philosophy, they're going to be welcome and there will be uh, a lot more, more discussion. But you know, it made me think about uh, my first campaign when we talked about uh, expanding this whole effort uh, and the emphasis on the truth. My very first campaign in the 1970s when I told my wife Carol that I was going to run for Congress, she, she just sort of shook her head, what in the world are you doing that for? Uh, it uh, wasn't in the plan. And uh, I explained to her, well, you know, I had strong beliefs and uh, the economy was in chaos. I wanted to speak out and it was, it was uh, sort of therapy for me to get things off my chest. And, uh, but she looked at me and, uh, and claimed that, well, you know, this could be dangerous for us, Ronnie. She says, you, you, you'll probably get, you know, elected. So I assured her this wasn't possible because it, in the 70s, it was very lonely. Uh, the conditions were so different. And, uh, and to take, take a position where you would not be voting for uh, any welfare or any warfare and arguing the case for sound money and the Constitution, I said, it's not popular. People are still locked in on welfare and transfer payments. And what's the government going to do for us? But her analysis, even in the 70s, was something that really uh, stuck with me because she says, you know what, you're going to get elected because you're going to be seen as telling the truth. And I was probably the cynic. I thought, oh, no, they really don't care about it. This is for me. I'm just going to talk and, uh, and, 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 and get the message out the best I can. Uh, so it's not going to be a big deal. But uh, her argument that people were anxious for the truth, it was true back then, uh, and it was uh, a, a good thing to have on my side when I was campaigning, no matter whether it was Congress or for the presidency, that credibility and the truth uh, goes, goes a long way. So the voices are out there, and they're louder. The technique is, is much better. And we're going to bring these voices together. There are already a lot of them out there, and there are some... Uh, believe me, that uh, we don't even know about. And they'll be able to join us and participate and give us their views and tell us what's happening around the country. So this to me is uh, just moving one step forward uh, where we're going to reach a lot more people. Now, we have the Voices of Liberty, we have the academicians, we have the teachers, we have the various people, we have the political people. We, we don't have the majority, obviously, in Congress, but we have some good friends in Congress. So we have those voices. But I tell you what has helped us a whole lot, and that is something that we can encourage. And that is to get more uh, whistleblowers. Uh, think of Edward Snowden, what he has done for revealing the truth. Think of what Daniel Ellsberg did uh, in a much more difficult time and he narrowly escaped going to prison for this. And of course, Edward Snowden might not uh, even ever be able to come back to this country. So we have so much work, but he did tell us the truth. So he, he is a wonderful voice and maybe we can cause an epidemic of truth telling because the, the crisis that we have now, whether it's the economic crisis and the foreign policy crisis, there's such a need to hear the truth, but the answers are out there and the answers are great and the answers are found in liberty and, and that is what America was once uh, known for and as is what it was founded on and yet we have lost our way but there's nothing that says that we can't find our way again and I think that is what you're going to see happen if, our, if we are successful and I am going to work very hard to make it successful if we can bring these giants together 
whose voices are fantastic and they can deliver a message not only as well as I deliver a message, but many times much better. So we're going to bring these people together. And I'll tell you what, we can change the world. And in the meantime, as I always said, I'm probably talking to myself, let's have a lot of fun while we're doing it. But I want to thank you very much uh, for tuning in and tell your friends about Voices of Liberty.